quick note on bill hook handles. You might think all bill hooks with similar patterns are going to have the same handles. But that's not so. And especially some of the new ones you buy, the handles tend to be very large. I've got small handles, hands for a bloke. So what I find is when I buy a hook, this one came from a car boot sale, had a really fat handle, so I started to shave it down to make it smaller. Because what you need to have from your handle, this is one I made for myself, when you hold it to work, your fingers should almost meet the ball of your thumb. If it's too fat, like this one over here, which I made years ago and never fitted, and you've got a big fat gap here, your hand is going to get much more tired. Here's another one I made. And again, that is too big for me. These are better, and you can see from this how I actually make them. This is a piece of ash, cleft down, look at it from the end on, you can see the way the annual rings, rings run. So cleft into quarters, then into eighths, and then into uh, basically planks. And this is a bit of coppiced ash, so it's fairly small diameter. And these waste pieces on the end is how you hold it in your shaving horse, or your vice if you haven't got a shaving horse. Then you've got a handle here, so a rough handle, and a handle here. So you make two at once, or more if you've got a longer piece. And that, again, will be a bit too big for me. But this one will be pretty groovy. Modern handles tend to come complete with a pilot hole. Because the hooks you want to look for are ones with a through tang, go all the way through, or a socket handle, like this one. A half tang, you can tell because you can't see the end. Basically a spike of steel ends about here or here, and there's usually a rivet that goes all the way through, and the blade as well, about here. See that on this ferrule, although this is not half tang, it's a through tang, and the rivet hole isn't used basically they always work loose. Avoid. It's usually the mark of a cheaper hook unless it's been made by a blacksmith who really knows what he's doing. So the modern ones tend to come with a pilot hole all the way through and that tends to be larger than the thickness of your tang. So especially if you're doing that with it, if you're cleaving, it's going to work loose it needs to be fitted like that. This one was quite well fitted. Note the little gap here. Well, this one's worked loose. This was me granddad's. So that no longer gets used in the woods because I quite like to show people the pattern on this handle which isn't made from polishing. That's basically his hands over years using this. He actually did a lot of woodland work. He was a gamekeeper. Care for your handle. A little bit of light vegetable oil. Whatever you've got. Even sunflower oil is okay. Little but often. This is a bit of ash. And this is a bit of goodness knows what. This is talking about the timber you make the handles from now. This is ash. And that is a bit of beach, which is probably what Grandad had lying about when you replace this handle. Because this definitely isn't the original handle. And you can just see, got a woodworm hole here. Don't use a hook if you bought it from a car boot sale or whatever, with lots of woodworm in it, because the handle might shatter. The bill hook might go flying and you might get hurt. Right, bill hook handles. Hope that was interesting.